Hello students, welcome to Standard 8 Science Online Class. Students, in our today online class, we are going to continue our unit 4, Heat. Our today's topic is Transfer of Heat. Students, we know that if we give heat energy to any substance, it will transfer from one part of the substance to another part. So, it takes place in different ways depending on the state of the substance. So, there are three ways of heat transfer. First one is conduction, second one is convection, third one is radiation. So, heat transfer with three methods, they are conduction, convection and radiation. So, let me explain you one by one. Our first topic is conduction. Dear students, take some hot water in a cup and put a silver spoon in it. Leave the spoon inside the water for some time. And once again now touch the other end of the spoon. Do you feel the heat on the other end is the question. Yes. How did the other end of the spoon become hot? It is because heat in the hot water is transferred from one end to the other end of the spoon. In solid substance such as silver spoon, atoms are arranged very closely. So hot water molecules which are vibrating transfer the heat energy to the atoms in the spoon and make them vibrate. Those atoms make other atoms to vibrate and thus heat is transferred to the other end of the spoon. Students, in conduction, heat energy transfer take place between two end of the same solid or through two solid substances that are at a different temperatures but in contact with one another is very very important so when solid substance is contact with the heat the heat energy transfer from one end of the conductor to the another end students conduction is defined as the process of heat energy transfer in solids very very important conduction is take place in solid only so, from the region of higher temperature to the region of lower temperature without the actual movement of atoms or molecules. Important two more question. Define conduction. So, conduction is the process of heat transfer in solids from the region of higher temperature to the region of lower temperature without the actual movement of atoms or molecules. So this is the two more question. So you have to write the definition for conduction in your classwork. Do you know part question all metals are good conductors of heat. The substances which does not conduct heat easily are called bad conductors or insulators. Example for insulators are wood, cork, cotton, wool, glass, rubber, etc. or insulators. Conduction in daily life. So we cook food in vessels made up of metals. When the vessel is heated, it transfers the heat energy from the gas stove to the food which we are cooking. So, it transfers heat from the metal to the food. And then second use, when we iron dresses, heat energy transferred from the iron box to the cloth. And then third one, Handles of cooking utensils are made up of plastic or wood because they are 
poor conductors of heat. And then last one, the temperature inside igloo, which is known as snow house, is warm because snow is a poor conductor of heat. So important one more question, snow is the poor conductor of heat. Our second topic is convection. Students take some water in a vessel and heat it on a stove for some time and then touch the surface of the water. Surface meaning top layer of the water. It will be cold and touch it after some time. So it will be hot now. How did the heat which was supplied at the bottom because we are giving the heat energy at the bottom. But after some time, it transferred to the top surface of the water. So, how it happened? Students, when the water in the vessel is heated, water molecule at the bottom receive heat energy first and move upward. So, the red color arrow marks is the movement of water molecules which receive heat energy. So, it move upward, then the molecules at the top comes down and get heated. The blue color is the molecule which are in cold, come down, again it receive heat energy and it move upward. So, then the molecule at the top come down and get heated. So, this kind of heat transfer is known as convection. This is how air in the atmosphere also heated. Thus, the form of heat transfer from place of higher temperature, very very important, the heat transfer from the place of higher temperature to place of lower temperature by the actual movement of molecules is called convection. So, convection takes place in liquids and gases. Students definition for convection, the form of heat transfer from the place of higher temperature to place of lower temperature by the actual movement of molecules in is called convection. So, convection take place in the liquids and gases. Important one more question. Convection take place in liquids and gases. Convection in daily life. So, the formation of land breeze and sea breeze is due to the convection of air. And then wind flows from one region to another region by convection. And then in hot air balloons, heat is transferred by convection and so the balloon rises. And then in refrigerators, cool air moves downward and replaces the hot air because of convection. Our third topic is radiation. Radiation is the third form of heat transfer. We know that by conduction, heat is transferred through solids. And then by convection, heat is transferred through liquids and gases. But by radiation, heat can transfer to empty space also. Without any medium, heat can transfer is known as radiation. Even though in vacuum also. Heat energy from the sun reaches the earth by this form of heat transfer. Radiation is defined as the way of heat transfer from one place to another in the form of electromagnetic waves. So, definition for radiation. Radiation is defined as the way of heat transfer 
from one place to another in the form of electromagnetic waves without any medium. Radiation in our daily life. Heat energy from the sun reaches the earth by radiation. And then while standing near fire, we feel the heat which is transferred as radiation. And then black surface absorb more heat radiation. Important one more question. Which surface absorb or which color absorb more heat energy? Black surfaces absorb heat radiation. So that bottom of the cooking vessels are painted black. And then white color reflect the heat radiation. White color reflect the heat radiation. That's why we are advised to wear white cloth during summer. Do you know type question? Heat transfer by radiation is visible to our eyes. So when a substance is heated to 500 degrees Celsius, the radiation begins to become visible to eyes as a dull red glow and it is sensed as warmth by the skin. Further heating rapidly increases the amount of radiation and it's perceived, perceived many receive. Colors become orange, yellow and finally white. So that is known as black body radiation.